Um, you'll get some good. You'll get some good uh, footage, I hope, in Pueblo, and have an interesting experience down in Pueblo, um, Denver, Pueblo, and many other communities have um, an increased uh, population of especially white male, 20 to 30 year old homeless folks who have um, uh, mental health issues uh, and are much more difficult for law enforcement and social service providers to deal with as a result. Um, one of the folks down in Pueblo, uh, I knew one of many folks I dealt with on this issue down there, Sheriff Kirk Taylor, still the sheriff down there, um, long experience with this issue, as does uh, the police chief, Troy Davenport. And they will tell you these are folks who've, who've come into their community because Pueblo was really uh, struggling economically, looking for something to provide tax revenue, got, got hypnotized by the marijuana commercialization lobby and industry into believing this was going to be their savior industry, embraced the industry in a way few other places in the whole state have. And as a result, they drew in uh, not only the cartels I've talked about, some of our biggest federal cases came out of that part of our state, but drew in what uh, uh, they call in Oregon trimigrants, uh, immigrants into the state who were bud tenders, plant trimmers, uh, self-proclaimed marijuana cultivators and users, um, who uh, are generally unemployed and uh, not contributing to the productivity of the community, homeless, frequently have mental health issues, and not only stress sort of the public service structure of that city or that area that they're in, but what people like Kirk and Troy will tell you is there's that population in general has an air of entitlement that comes from you legalized it, we came here to use it, now provide for us, not because we want to get out of this circumstance we find ourselves in, but because we want to stay in that circumstance, but we want to be taken care of. We want the government to provide shelter, food, and